Hi guys, today we're going to be solving AP1 divide self. Problem states, we'll say that a positive int divides itself if every digit in the number divides into the number evenly. So for example, 128 divides itself since 1, 2, and 8 all divide into 128 evenly. We'll say that 0 does not divide into anything evenly, evenly, so no number with the 0 digit divides itself. Note, use mod to get the rightmost digit and slash to discard the rightmost digit. So obviously there's a lot of ways to solve this problem, but the way I'm going to be solving it is by creating a separate variable that has n as a string. I like to convert the given integer into a string because there's a lot of ways to manipulate strings and break them apart and merge them together and change them back from string to integer and vice versa. So instead of using, um, instead of getting every individual digit by using modulus or, or divide I'm going to be using things like dot charat and a couple other uh, neat tricks to get single digits so first thing we're going to have to do is create a we're going to create a string variable called temp which is going to take in our our integer n and turn it into a string then Right off the bat, we can just check uh, a con the condition with the zero. If temp dot contains zero, we know that we can straight away return false. So, because right here it states no number with a zero digit divides itself, so we can just get an easy, easy potential bug out of the way. Then we want to iterate through the entire word so we can do temp dot length and basically what I'm gonna do is check these digits one at a time so first I'm gonna check one and see if that divides into 128 ev evenly then I'm gonna check two then I'm gonna check eight so the way I'm gonna do this is through an if statement so if temp dot char at i so this will get the very first the very first character and we're going to change that into an integer so the way we do that is through a built-in method called integer dot parse int what that does is it'll take in a string and convert it into a number if we use char at we all know that that returns a character to we don't want to and that doesn't that parameter doesn't fit the integer dot parse and we need a string so the way we can do that is just simply add quotation so if the integer version divides evenly oh, n divides evenly we can do that by doing n modulus the digit in in the first example if 120 uh, modulus 1 if that equals 0 then we're fine or actually I just thought of a better way to make our code even better we know as soon as it doesn't equal 0 we can return false right away so for example like the number 13 we know that the digit 3 does not divide evenly into 13 so if we just check to see if it doesn't divide evenly, we can return false right away. I think that'll be simpler. Return false. Otherwise, if we run through the entire for loop and we never return false, that means every single number divides evenly. We can just return true. See if this works. Cool, it does work.